Hey guys, welcome back to Shukela Training Center in part two of our video, how to set up a forge or chuck. This time, we are gonna concentrate on the DTI, dial test indicator, also known as a clock gauge. Okay, if you remember from part one, let's put a workpiece in. This is a workpiece, and now we can use the clock gauge on this because it's nice and shiny, not rough steel. However, we are gonna get it uh, more or less set up with the surface gauge. So remember how we do this here let's bring all four jaws to a common point I'm gonna use the top of the jaw to the bottom of the second ring or groove this time next thing we did measure our workpiece I'm gonna grab the workpiece there and set up here so let me get my vernier and take a measurement there that's telling me it's 35 millimeters in diameter. Okay. The gap between the jaws. Wow, that's close. That's 37. I've just got to close the jaws by a millimeter each. Okay, so 37 down to 36. Gap of 37 down to 36. And another millimeter there to bring it to 35 and there as well okay work is just slots in tighten our jaws remember then let's get our remember this name surface gauge flat nice and level on a flat surface preferably the bed okay and Next step, jaw one, horizontal, set our gap of 10 millimeters. I like 10 millimeters, nice round figure to work with. Turn to jaw three, check the gap there. That's around about seven. So how much do you think we are gonna move this workpiece and in which direction? Let's think about it. 10 minus seven is three. We've got two sides, so we divide by two. We are moving it one and a half millimeters towards jaw one. The gap is quite big there, so we loosen that jaw and we tighten jaw three till we get seven plus 1.5, 8.5, and that's 10 minus 1.5, 8.5. Those two jaws are set up quick and easy. It's 8.5 is our magic number. Let's check jaw two, that's good enough for me. And jaw four, close enough. Now, to check 8.5 on a ruler is not very easy. And we want the setup to run 100% concentric. So to do that, we're gonna keep our surface gauge away and use this goodie here. This is our DTI, also called a clock gauge. Okay, we're gonna position that also round about the center height of the job. Let our plunger touch our job. And the aim of this, although we say we wanna get it to run zero, the actual aim of it is to not make either of those needles move. This clock gauge measures deflection, meaning if I pull this plunger in, it shows me how much that moved by, okay? Let's bring jaw one down and reference our clock gauge. Remember the clock gauge is read in conjunction with both needles. So let's look at our small needle. It's pointing to zero. Our big needle's pointing to zero. Our base is nice and tight, fixed onto the bed. And let's spin our job to jaw three. Okay, did you see the needle deflect? Aim of the game, not to get the needle to move at all. Okay, let's read our small needle, it's zero. Our big needle is 30, which means our job has moved by 0 0.3 millimeters. Think of it as the same way as getting onto the gap with the surface gauge, we want the midpoint 
and the midpoint between 0 and 0 and 0 and 30 or comma 3 is 0 and 15 which is 0 comma 1 5 nice way I like to remember it where the clock goes positive or plus or high we tighten where the clock goes negative or low loosen alpha low alpha loosen between jaws 1 and 3 we see that jaw 1 is lower than jaw 3 as it's small 0 big 0 low loosen let's loosen that jaw and did you see that changed from 0 and 30 to 0 and 20 tighten that to 0 and 15 bring jaw 1 again small 0 big 15 and pop the jaw 0 and 15 magic number look at jaw 2 and 4 find your lower jaw as we want to loosen our lower jaw our lower jaw is jaw 4 as our clock is reading 9 and 75 loosen the lower one tighten the heart higher one to what number do you think 0 and 15 exactly right so we go to 0 and 15 and nip up the jaw forward just to touch and look at that thank you very much let's get some practice on this here practice as much as we can understand how to read the clock gauge or the DTI practice 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 and join me next time thank you